Was James Wan trapped inside a puppeteer's prop trunk when he was a child? Discount Candace Cameron. Ransacked room, crayon all over the wall and mirror. Is this the work of a demon-possessed doll or a four-year-old? Any normal person with normal eyesight would have seen this f***ing note on the floor the very instant they opened the door. Especially if you're sort of expecting a two-foot doll to be the one knocking. He wanted to get inside of you. Well, that's no different from most guys I know when it comes to nurses. Wait, did this classroom just see the same thing we saw? You know, the demon leaving all those messages and drawing stuff in crayon, or... Did they just see an amateur film of a boring interview with nurses where they simply talked about the demon doll for ten minutes? It seems unlikely the whole class would be this intrigued by a boring interview unless they saw exactly what we saw. But they couldn't have unless the nurses reenacted everything and the Warrens somehow got their hands on modern cameras and color correction. Look, I'm all for token international characters in film, but when you put the black guy next to the Middle Eastern lady, all you do is call attention to how many white people are in your shot. Any questions? What college is this in the 1960s that has almost no black people but also an extremely high interest in demon possession, enough that the room is completely full and nearly every single attendee raises their hand? I mean, it's gotta be Notre Dame, right? Yep. There's no way in the world anyone would be able to tell which person he's pointing at, particularly when half the audience has their hand up. Reading. Really slow reading. James Wan does not know how to scare you without first telling you it's all true. How many f***ing kids do these two have? We're like halfway to a reality show at this point. Family moves into a creepy new house, and the teenager hates it, and the dog senses evil before humans do, and there's a music box cliche. Hey, I like one-shots as much as the next film, nerd, but shouldn't you at least have a reason for doing one? Or interesting characters or action for us to watch while you're doing it? You guys done with the pizza? I don't want it going to waste. You got pizza delivered out here in the middle of nowhere in the 1970s? Damn, you're father of the year. Also, how did this huge family not finish off one pizza? There's like one slice per person with a pizza that size. Expensive feeding you girl. It can't really be that expensive when they can barely handle one freaking pizza. I mean, it sounds like you could feed this family on a can of beets. This is just like Marley and me, only I haven't had time to care about this dog yet. Well, why not just throw him in an incinerator? Destroy him? Well, that would only destroy the vessel. Pretty clearly said the demons can't possess things, they can only possess people. Demonic spirits don't possess things. And you said ghosts don't even have the power to manipulate these vessels. Now you're making it sound like there are demons inside these things, and that burning them would be like turning off the containment grid in Ghostbusters. Hell, in fact, if these things are just conduits, wouldn't it be better if they were destroyed? You can't go into this room no matter what, remember? Right, kids always follow that kind of advice. You may be an expert on demons, but you are a terrible father. I guess Nancy isn't freaked out about the door closing on its own, even though she couldn't see the demon. Said that it wants my family dead. Demon makes declaration that it wants the family dead, tests door creakiness and slammability to prove it means business. Nobody else in the entire household hears all these pictures fall down the stairs. But when Christine screamed earlier, everyone woke up and wondered what the hell was going on. Who is that? What idiot in their right mind does this? I mean, I know it's in movies all the time, but even if you don't believe in ghosts or demon hauntings, do you still want to yell out and give away your position to a burglar or rapist? Convenient of the demon to wait a whole week until the father has literally just returned from a trucking run to Florida before doing any actual Yet after he was possessed, he spoke some of the best Latin I'd ever heard, sometimes backwards. Um, Latin is a dead language. No one truly knows what good Latin sounds like, backwards or forwards. Otherwise, it's just like... All night long, just like... Does it come in threes? Well, sometimes it's meant as an insult to the Trinity. My neighbor Jackie is always mocking the Holy Trinity whenever she comes over to borrow sugar. Clock stop at 3.07 a.m. That's because they're mocking the state of Wyoming. I wonder if in a couple hundred years, horror movies will explore the spooky occurrences from playing around with a dusty Sega Genesis. When she sees Rory in the mirror, shouldn't the on the wall be in reverse position? Since she's looking at him in a mirror? But when she turns around to look normally, everything's in the exact same position. We have to get out of here. I'm afraid that's not gonna help. Leaving the house isn't gonna help, cliche. When you get haunted, it's like stepping on gum. You take it with you. Yeah, nothing ever gets rid of gum. Blamed her love to Satan, cursed anyone who tried to take her land, and hung herself. It sounds to me like you could just leave then. If you didn't own the land anymore, then this Bathsheba demon or ghost wouldn't have a beef. So what was the original 200 acre farm has since been subdivided and sold off. The demon who hates its land being taken apparently has no problem with the government that is subdividing it and selling it to people who are completely unaware of the curse. Uh, there was another boy who drowned in a pond here. But I guess the demon witch was happy with his parents living in the house. Nothing happened to them. And a woman who worked as a maid in a neighboring home, she committed suicide too. But the maid's employers were A-OK. -okay. People who took her land. We think maybe the maid stole silverware? We're still not sure she took land yet. Did they even rewind this tape? Even if the demon can activate the tape recorder, it still has to abide by the laws of 1970s audio technology. The family mysteriously took a group photo at the beach without including beach or ocean in the background. Is it just so that later Lorraine could show off her amazing ability to figure out that they were at the beach? Pretty far out, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's groovy. Characters awkwardly talk 70s slang to remind you that you're in the 70s. Promoted, sir. What? I had to go. Apparently no one heard Brad go into the bathroom in the first place. How come when the ghost hunters first show up at the house, the family's already sleeping collectively in the living room downstairs with bedding and mattresses and everything? And then when the intern kid is setting up the cameras, all the beds have bedding and mattresses on them again. But then that night when they get ready to observe the haunting shit, the beds are stripped of bedding and mattresses. Brad, get the camera. Oh, come on. This footage from a 1971 portable video camera is better than my iPhone? Earlier in the movie, we were told that the oppression stage is where the victim is broken down and left in a weakened state so that the demon can take over for the third stage, possession. But in the previous scene, Carolyn doesn't look too broken down. She looks pretty chipper for someone who's on the brink of a demon possession. Jeez, not one broken bone. That was a nasty fall. It looks like the worst thing that happened was that she got a little dirty. Even the music box survived without breaking. The movie is excellent at sudden loudness. Did they just pull the parents get home at the exact same time the child is having a haunting crisis move twice in one film? Vade retro, Satana. Wait, do you need training in exorcism or training in Latin? By the power of God, I condemn you back to hell! Wait, does English work now? Car batteries in the 70s did not last long enough for all these headlights to still be on in the morning. I'd like to know the story of the demonic teapot and that evil telescope. More reading. The pen is blue. The pen is blue! The goddamn pen is blue! Okay, who wants to go down the creepy tunnel inside the tomb first? Do you remember what you said to me on our wedding night? Hop inside my mouth if you want to live. Well, that's to keep those doors from banging at night. Otherwise, it's like... Not three times. Lent long, just like that. Not three times.